we're going to put the battery in. See how nice and tight it is. Come get a closer look, honey. All right. So we'll kind of just slide this 1800 four cell in. This has the XT60 connections on it. Tightens down really well with this Velcro. And then basically slap it in and it should initialize right away. Sounds good. We'll tuck down the wires, slot in our top here. Everything seems nice and good. We'll do a surface check. Roll right or so left, roll right, spread, up, down, looks great. Left, right, looks good. And the motor winds up. Alright, let's go flying. Oh god, a bee. Slide slope for you. Background for high speed pass. Going up. Back down. Gotta love that sound. Just gliding around. Rolls.
man back down. Bring her around for a landing. All right, let's talk about the EFX racer. This is a product from Hobby King that you can buy. It's really inexpensive, and it comes in two schemes: the red, the yellow and you can buy it as a kit so you can put all your sponsored decals on yourself that's not a problem just riddle it if you want but everything is done very nicely on this plane i'm actually really happy with it just out of the box even if i didn't know how to fly which for the most part i don't um it's a really nice plane it's a really nice plane it's very very strong so let's talk about some positives it basically does what it claims it can do. It's a very, very fast, high-performance plane that's very tough. It's supported all over the place with carbon fiber spars, with fiberglass spars. They're running through the main wings. They're running through the vertical and the horizontal stabilizers. It's, it's very, very strong. And there's even reinforcement on the inside of the hatch. They put wood running along the, basically the walls of the, uh, of the fuselage for strength. So it's pretty nice. The Velcro straps are very tough. Everything seems to put, you know, seem together just beautifully. There is no room for any wiggle on anything. It is, it is a very, very nice plane. I'll show you the other side. Um, even the cooling factor was thought through. You know, there's basically a venting point at the front, the nose here, and then, as you can see, there are actually functioning exit points on the back. There is a cowling underneath and that's or uh yeah basically an air scoop underneath sort of like the mustang p51 that's very small it's kind of hard to see so i'll show you there and that's functioning that that baby works um landing in the grass or soft uh soft landing areas i mean this is what it's basically built for it's got a nice skid plate here it's got a skid plates on the wings it's got a skid plate on the tail i mean it's just nice the ball links to the uh, moving surfaces, they're solid. I've never used these before, and these things work amazingly well. They just snap right in, some with the, without even a plier, and you can't even unsnap them. I mean, not without, you know, threat of breaking them at least, but they're everywhere. Everything is just very true, very solid, stiff. It's, um, it's incredible. It's, it's, I mean, I haven't seen a plane built this well in a while. This thing is solid and it's my first, you know, high performance plane like I said and it's, it's basically, it does what it claims it could do. So let's talk about some of the negatives now. Um, inside, it's really tight. You don't even think about getting this plane if you can't get your fingers in small places. It just won't happen. I mean, it's really, really snug in there. And then, you know, you kind of want to take the motor out. There are a lot of YouTube videos with guys that have had bad luck where the motor has, you know, the screws are un, unthreaded. They're like, they're not even in all the way. Some of them are missing. I was unfortunate enough to experience that problem. So one of the backing screws on the motor mount was missing, and the other one was rattling inside on my second flight. So you go, you would just want to take it off. Take just the whole front off with the wing off so you can extend the ESC cords. And just take those threaded screws out, put some Loctite on them, and just throw them back into place. It's a mistake you just can't afford. Not with this plane. If it loses control at 80, 90, 100 miles an hour, it's you know good as trash. Um, otherwise, let's see what else. You know, if you're not used to these ball links, it's gonna basically, you know, I guess you have to kind of put your faith in them, and they can be a little bit of a challenge to do. So. 
there are these basically plates that come over here to cover for aerodynamic um, effect. They've completely blown offline. And that's my pro my fault. You should definitely put more adhesive or you know paint on a thin layer of CA and just tack it down. It it's worth it. The cowling. Buy a few of them. Same with the props. I'm using an APC 5x5 with a 4 cell setup. And it's you need a bunch of props because you're gonna bust them, and you're gonna need some cowlings because you're gonna bust that when you bust the props. Um, it's just something to get used to. It's something you have to learn. Let's see what else. Just, uh, that's about it. Other than that, overall, this is a great plane. Everything kind of matches up and slides together well. I mean, th other than, you know, the problem with the motor, which obviously is a big problem, this plane, when it performs, performs as it says it can. Knife edges lock in. Inverted is the same as, you know, upright and level unlimited vertical it whistles and screams as it runs and it basically has you know the revolutions of almost like a, a turbine this thing really cooks and it is it's not for the lighthearted you know you'll stop blinking after a while because you have to track it so fast it's a very small plane that can move very fast and if you let it get away from you it will do so but you know what Buy it. Go out and buy it. If you want something that's going to give you a little bit of a heartbeat, this is something you're going to want to get into. For its price point and its stability at slow flights, it's uncanny. It really is. Um, get two of them if you want. It's probably still the same price as, like, say, I don't know, an e-flight product. So uh, go out and get one. Enjoy.